Hi, everyone. Thanks again for sticking around. Um, as I listen to the presentation by Delegate Ivy, I can only feel as though my civil rights are attacked. You know, I stand in the shadow of my ancestors who weren't allowed to own firearms at a certain period of time in America. And as I look around at this committee, I see that there are sponsors of this bill who sit on this very committee, and they look just like me. Some of them are my age, and it disgusts me that they would write such sloppy and awful legislation that would put a young black man who is an owner of a Colt H-Bar AR-15 in harm's way like that. It is disgusting. Each and every one of us here are still here. We follow the law. We follow the rules. We've gotten every permit. we paid our taxes. We've done everything possible. And the government decides to just yank the carpet out from underneath us. And like the gentleman below, sorry, said earlier, the trust that we have in you, it's diminishing by the day. And the day that a government loses a trust of its citizens is a very dark day. I beg and plead that each and every one of you on this committee reconsider. Please reconsider. I could be your son. I could be your grandson, your nephew. I have a family. My AR-15 is metal and polymer. It's a tool. It's an inanimate object. I tell it when to fire. I shoot it. I rest it. I reload it. It doesn't do it on its own. And each and every person behind me can attest to that. I please beg all of you on this committee to please withdraw your support for this bill. Thank you.